Hey guys, Jake here with eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at, I'm going to show you how to get in place, the Dutton Lanson Square Tube Pivoting Tongue Jack. You're going to be able to pick this jack up with two different support orientations. You're going to have a wheel on the one on our left here and a foot pack on the one on our right. The foot pack is going to be better for those applications on a trailer that's too heavy to be able to roll around anyway. So you get the foot pack and it'll stay planted on the ground. Now if you have a boat trailer that's a little bit lighter when there's no boat loaded and you want to pull your trailer around by hand, you can do that with the one with the wheel. We do have both these here at eTrailer, just check it out. The only thing that's going to differ between these two jacks is the weight rating. The jack with the foot pack is going to have a 2,000 pound weight rating and the jack with the wheel is going to have a 1,700 pound weight rating. Something I like about this jack more than others, some that might come on your trailer factory, is that it's going to have a more heavy duty, more aggressive look to it. It's going to be able to withstand that weight that you put on it. The wheels are going to be 8 inches tall, which is going to be nice and tall to be able to roll over anything that might be in your yard or on your driveway. They're also going to be 3 inches wide so that they don't sink whether you're pulling it over gravel or through your yard. The handle is going to be a nice wide handle, wide enough to be able to get your hand around it with these grooves for your fingers to apply grip. It's also going to be a rubberized material so that your hand doesn't slip if you're cranking your trailer up in wet conditions. The jack is going to come equipped with a grease circ on the back side so that you can easily grease the gears that are for the handle so that you have a smooth operation every time you use your jack. To get your jack in the stowed position, it's simple. You pull out this little handle here pull out the knob and slide it till it clicks into place. Now one little tip is when you're hauling your trailer, rather than just having this handle swing down, you can get yourself a little strap and strap this handle to the jack so that it's not hanging down. With the jack, you're gonna have 12 inches of travel, so you're gonna have a lot of room to be able to put it on many different vehicles if you took it off a different vehicle. You're gonna be able to fit this jack on trailer tongues that are between three and five inches. I really like this jack personally because it's not going to take away from the looks of any trailer that you put it on. So whether you have it on a boat trailer with your really nice ski boat on it, it's going to add to the looks of your trailer. With that dark charcoal gray powder coat finish, it's gonna hold up against rust and corrosion. Now that we've gone over some of those features, let's go ahead and show you how easy it is to get in place. Whether you're replacing a damaged jack like we have here, or just replacing a old jack, you'll need to remove your old jack first. If you have a swivel jack, it's most likely gonna have a snap ring. So here we have a pair of snap ring pliers. We'll pull that ring off. Set that aside, now we can take our jack. Now with our old jack removed, we can go ahead and get our new one in place. Start by sliding our bolts through our top holes and we can slide our plate on the back side. Right on a couple of our nuts just to hold the plate in place. Now we'll take a 5 8 inch socket with an 11 16 wrench and tighten on our hardware. Once you have everything tightened down and safely secured on your jack, you're ready to hit the road. With all that being said, that's going to do it for a look at the Dutton Lanson Square Tube Pivoting Tongue Jack.